Hey, Keith here from Amp Publishing. Uh, today I'm going to review a brand new piece of software called Smart Ads Builder, um, and it is just that. It uh, builds uh, Facebook ads, okay? Now this uh, this software does not integrate directly with uh, Facebook's advertising platform, um, but instead is uh, built for posting ads, which you can then later boost, okay? So I'll, I'll kind of show you what that is if you're not familiar with page boosting. Um, so what I'll do is, now what you're going to see here is the front end product. Uh, so everything you see here is what you're going to get for the front end. There is a funnel. Uh, there are some upsells there and I will go over those uh, as, as usual once I'm done with the demonstration here. So it's a very simple piece, uh, piece of software to use. They've actually done a really nice job. Um, and the value here is, is what I'm finding is uh, the time saving. Okay. so. As you see, once we build a campaign uh, and build an ad, it's really actually very quick, but it saves a ton of time. If you've ever done any kind of Facebook advertising, um, there's, there's a lot of time goes into it, right? You have to research your your copy, get your headlines, get your text, um, you know, depending on what offer you're using, whether it's, you know, an e-com product, uh, you know, a physical product, digital product, um, you know, really what, what, whatever it may be. Um, and it takes a lot of time to really kind of come up with that that copy as well as then the image, right? So you need to get the actual ad image, um, get whatever copy you're going to put on that image. Uh, you know, you if, if you're skilled enough, you can go ahead and do those things yourself, but it takes a lot of time to do it or you're going to end up paying somebody to do it, okay? So this, uh, this kind of breaks down uh, some templates that it's going to give you uh, by niche okay so it's really actually very quick so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump in here and show it to you rather than just explain it to you um, but to start with uh, when you first uh, get into the application this is kind of the screen you're gonna see here it gives you a nice little kind of uh, quick start intro here on how to use the product there's training uh, videos as well uh, for other features um, but what you're gonna do is first thing is really go to your accounts <clears throat> And what you're going to do is connect a, connect a, a Facebook account, okay? And it's it's very simple. I'm already connected through with this account here, so I'm not going to walk through it. But it's literally about two three steps. You just hit OK a few times, and and you're good to go. Uh, now you can you can add multiple uh, Facebook accounts to this, uh, and then you can just basically switch between them depending on uh, you know which one you want to post to, okay? So uh, to start with, make sure we get our account hooked up. And then we're gonna jump right over into campaigns. All right, the navigation is very simple here. We have some campaigns, we have interest, uh, which is gonna help you build an audience uh, that you can later then just simply copy and paste into your uh, platform when you wanna boost the ad. Um, and then uh, of course, you know your accounts, which we've already looked at. So it's, it's all very quick. Now there's also an ad builder in here, which is actually pretty nice. Um, so let's just go ahead and actually create a campaign. <clears throat> so the first thing you're gonna do is just, uh, name your campaign, I'm going to call it demo. Now this is this is really where the value of this comes in is all the templates that they give you. Um, and I'll actually flip over here real quick just so you can kind of see. Uh, this is basically what you get for the front end product, okay? So you get the unlimited Facebook uh, campaign builder, you get 200 um, ad post uh, text templates uh, for various niche categories, 150 image ad templates, which that's where they've really done a, a nice job is, is they're really nice ads, they're really nice images that they've used. Um, and they also give you uh, a way to search, as you'll see down here, um, an easy to use uh, advanced image ad builder with over 10,000 uh, built in free image backgrounds, um, as well as a bunch of like stickers. I'll, I'll show you what those what that looks like. Uh, but you're going to be able to generate unlimited audiences. Um, you can spy on hidden audiences, uh, auto export these campaigns if you want to save them or import them into the actual ads platform for, for Facebook instead of just a page boost. Um, again, you can download that ad campaign to your system. That gives you the image uh, and the copy and the audience if you've chosen to link an audience to a particular campaign, okay? Um, and of course, video training. Um, so that's what you're gonna get there. So as you can see, your first step here really is a template, okay? And you can start with a blank one uh, if, if you choose, um, but there's also different categories, right? So we have blog posts, we have uh, ebook marketing, uh, ecom. I mean, you can see there's a, a nice, real nice uh, array of, of different uh, different niches here. And as you can see, these images, I mean, these are, these are pretty nice ads. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with these at all. They're not just clip art. Um, they've actually taken the time to put some pretty nice stuff in here. Um, so let's just go with, let's just go with fitness here, uh, just for the example. Um, and let's go maybe with something like this, okay? So this is our template we're going to pick. All right, so that's where we're going to start, okay? Now, I can edit before I even get to this, uh, to the campaign names, uh, to the dead, to the headlines, rather, the post text, the links. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the actual ad image designer, okay? So what I'll do is I can launch into that. All right, and what you're going to see is, uh, this is actually kind of cool here, too, as well, is you can, you can actually switch 
uh, on the fly, you know, whichever one you want to use. So if you want to switch up your campaign or your image, just simply click it and it will load load into here. So you'll see you've got all that. Um, now what you can do is you can edit this, okay? So as you see, I'll click on, uh, you know, some text. I can move it around. I can actually edit the text here. And it gives you uh, somewhat of a basic uh, text editor, uh, really as much as you're probably going to need. Now with Facebook ads, uh, you're going to notice this little thing right here, which says image text, okay, your ad will run normally. Now what this means is, is uh, Facebook has, I believe it's a 20% rule, where 20% of your ad can, um, uh, can only be text, okay? So you can't have any more than 20% of this entire area uh, be text. Now what they have is a little grid, okay, that you can actually turn on. Oops. There you go. Um, and this little grid kind of shows you and gives you an idea about your 20% rule, okay? Um, so you can kind of measure it that way if you want to increase fonts uh, or add more text or whatever to try to keep you into that uh, into that 20%. Now, if I add more uh, text to this, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to run out and kind of check it, and it will tell you, okay, you have more than 20%. You may, you know, this may not run, run normally uh, once you try to submit this for a page boost. All right, so it kind of gives you that on the fly. So a nice little, uh, small little uh, text editor um, they give you pretty much all the basics uh, you can kind of layer things bring them to the front push them to the back uh, forward or delete an object altogether okay now what they also have are just basic shapes okay so you can do rectangles you can you know, size those do whatever you'd like to do if you just like to simply create an ad from scratch or add to this particular ad um, you can delete those things uh, so you can add uh, any of these uh, these shapes here uh, they have a bunch of different stickers here as well so like business you know just uh, kind of um, the more of the clip art kind of uh, kind of stuff uh, but there's a ton of them um, so you could certainly I and mean, that's just one category right there uh, so that's that's pretty nice uh, some chat chat bubbles and, and things like that okay uh, so you can add those on there as well now we also have images so you can uh, you can certainly browse and upload your own uh, your own images into here if you already have a, a one that you want to use um, and also Let's see here. We've got uh, some templates. Okay, those are the templates where we're in. And then backgrounds. Okay, so here's your background. Now, what you can do is you can upload your own background as well, or you can search. Okay, so if we say, uh, let's just do fitness here, seeing that's what we're in. And search, you'll see. Okay, so here's a bunch of ads that you are uh, images that you could use for the background. Okay, so you can you search and save those uh, as, as many times as, as you'd like to. All right. Um, so once you're kind of done, uh, now you can do colors as well for your, for your background. It doesn't have to be an image. It could just be a color, okay? Now... Uh, what you're going to see up here is um, you can basically you can you can save this image when you think you're you're good. So we just simply hit save and we're good to go. We can go back to our campaign. Uh, you can download the image uh, as well. Um, and what this does is, is gives it to you in the correct size that you need and just downloads it for you. But I'm going to show you a way to export your whole campaign so you get everything uh, that that you need instead of just the image. But if you wanted to use the software just to, for the image and the the builder, by all means, uh, it certainly would be worth worth doing. So let's just go back to here for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look now what they've given you. So they've already given you some templates for ads uh, themselves as far as the images are concerned. Now what they have also give you is a, a template. Okay, and what these are, health and fitness, are beginners. So they give you a, a template basically to start with depending on you know what your what your niche is. Okay, so if I go to let's see, uh, let's do let's see that's health and fitness. Let me see if there's something that's more like. <laughs> Muscle, here we go, let's do that one. All right, so we have, you know, easiest muscle building secret revealed. So it really depends on what, you know, what your offer is that you're wanting to do. But it basically starts you out with a, a, a template, okay? So you've got, you know, these guys put this new muscle building method, method to the test, see the results for yourself, okay? So what you're gonna do is pretty much add, you know, you can add whatever links you want in here, or whatever text you want, you can switch this stuff up as much as you want. This is just a place to get started, which again, this is the time saver right here. Just to get this, this step here by, you know, uh, alone, it, it takes, you know, Without a piece of software, it takes time. Um, so this really gives you a great place to get started. Now you can also just put your link in, you know, wherever that's happening. You know, you you want you want to go with this. Uh, I'm just going to put my own website in there for now. Uh, you'll see it automatically updates over here. You can also view, um, you know, mobile, uh, the desktop, what it's going to look like on the sidebar. So you can see the different ways that your your ads are going to show up. Um, you know, actually on Facebook. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is we'll just update this campaign real quick. All right, we're updated. Okay, so from this point, we've we've got a couple uh, a couple of choices. Okay, I'm not going to download the campaign data because I want to show you this uh, link audience uh, interest first. Okay, so you'll notice here I have one for search engine optimization. That's that's the audience I've built. But let's go ahead and build a new one. So if we go over to interests and we want to cherry cherry pick these, so we'll say um, you know muscles. 
muscle building, maybe let's try that. Muscle building workouts. Okay, now you can do uh, either, it'll bring back either interests or pages. So pages are obvious, it's Facebook pages. Interests are anyone that's shown interest in this keyword, okay? So it's gonna bring back any posts um, that basically have, uh, you know, that are tied to that particular interest, okay? And you can limit, you can change this limit to whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it at 20 for this uh, for this example. And I'll go ahead and, um, and search. Let's see if we're going to get any on this. Maybe it's too much. Let's see. There we go. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got a, got a little clicky. All right. So, yeah, your quick muscle building tips. Uh, there's the audience size. You have muscle building there, muscle building zone. Okay. So this is just stri strictly um, uh, related to muscle building interest. Okay. So now what I can do is I can spy on this audience, which is basically going to just load up Facebook for me and show me the different posts that are out there that have for people that have this interest. Okay. Uh, so you can kind of take a peek through here and see if this is if this is right. You know, make sure that this particular audience, which is uh, you know has an interest in all all these posts is the is the audience that you you're wanting to go for. Now, if I'm building muscle, this looks pretty straight, right? Uh, that, that's pretty much what I'm going to want to go for. So what I'll do is I will uh, just for example, I'm going to pick all three, okay? And I'm going to build my audience that way, and I'm just going to save my interest, okay? So I'll just let it, it default it to that. That's fine by me, and we'll save that interest, okay? So now what I'll do is if I hop back into my campaign and we just click that. And we go to link uh, audience in, audience interests. What it's going to do is it'll give me that selection. I'll go ahead and select it. Okay. Now, what I can do from this point is I can export it to my Facebook page. Okay. Or I can download this campaign data. Okay. And I'm just going to hit the download button here and just kind of show you what you get for that. Open this up real quick. And we'll go ahead and unzip it. And show you. Okay. So it gives you your content. It just gives you the, the, the you know all the content right there in a, in a little text file, the interest uh, as well, and then of course your ad your ad image at the correct dimensions that Facebook wants it. Okay, so you've got all this stuff for later use, or if you want to import it into um, the actual ads campaign, because again this is used more for just uh, you know posting um, you know ad posts. Okay, and then you're gonna boost those posts after. All right, so now what we could do is we could export to the page if we want to. Okay, so uh, let's just say I wanted to use you know hit hit this one here. Um, I would just simply click it and it would go. Okay, I'm not going to actually post this one to my page because this isn't about fitness, so I don't want to, I don't want that coming out there. But I'm going to hop over to um, to my Facebook page here and uh, answer a question that I always get, and that question is, well, Keith, how does this publish? Okay, so like, what does it say here? So when I look at this one, this is one I used. Um, oh, I can't remember which one I was using for this. I think it was um, a different piece of software. But anyway, it says published by iPhoto, because that's that's the API that we're using to get this particular video um, to post from a piece of software. Now, again, only people who manage this page see who it's published by. Okay, so the people, the public, do not see. So it doesn't matter who this was published by. This is only for admins, so that they know who's publishing things to their page. So the public does not see any of this information. I just always get that question, um, and it's really nothing to, you know to be concerned with because nobody else sees that except for the admins. Okay, so once I have that. Um, once I have that uh, pushed to my Facebook page, uh, at that point I can then start to uh, start to boost it. Okay, so what I can do is I'll flip over to my Facebook account and just kind of show you. I'm going to show you very briefly what boosts boosts are. Um, I have an entire post. Uh, I'm sorry, another video around the difference between uh, boosting a page on Facebook and using the actual ads platform uh, in Facebook. And I'll put that link down in the description. You guys can take a look at that, and it, it gives you a good insight and in exactly kind of what the differences are. Quite honestly page boosting is a great way to do it you can do it for literally two bucks a day I think is the minimum um, and it's a fantastic way way to quickly get something out there uh, start getting likes or start getting clicks to your offers offers on okay okay so let's say now that I've used this and I've posted um, to my page if I want to boost it I simply just click this boost post now you have to have your credit card information set up with Facebook already for this button to even show up I think it just says boost unavailable uh, you can click that and it'll walk you through getting set up okay so once we have that what's going to take you into kind of the mini ads platform all right so you get a, a little bit of um, you know things that you can set here again I'm not going to walk through all this I just want to show you how this relates to smart ads builder um, what we would do is we would create a new audience okay now what we can do is go back into our ads and we could say we can go to our interests and we can say okay let's uh, take a look at this one and now if I want to copy it for Facebook so whatever I have checked here it's already got them uh, got them in here I can just copy that 
and now I'll put it in the actual interest field, okay, which is, where did it go, here we go, interest field, okay, so I copy all of those, paste those in, it's got them in here, now I'm good to go, I can save, okay, and that's going to basically create now my audience, okay, so that's the audience that I'm going to use uh, for this to see, now this particular one, it's going to give me 300 to 10 to 810 people per day for a $5 budget, it all changes depending on what you have, you know, your settings in, in the boosts, again, check out that other video I did, I go, I walk through this a lot, uh, with a lot more, more detail, um, so anyway, so you're good to go, you boost, you boost it, um, and you just simply wait, and, and you start to see, you know, clicks starting to happen, and people getting over to your offers, okay, now if you have a big Facebook following, but you may not need to boost. Um, you don't have to boost anything. Uh, if your audience is big enough, uh, you can certainly, uh, you know, just get get the posts, um, you know, from here, create them, build them in here, and then just simply push those those posts to your Facebook page. Okay, uh, and essentially that is the software. I mean, it's like I said, it's very very simple, very simple to do. Um, again, its value I found um, is really just the time that it saves. I, and I think that they did a really good job on uh, supplying you with some decent templates to work from. Uh, most of the I've seen other builders like this, and, and <laughs> the ads they create are just really not that great. Uh, but these they did a pretty a pretty good job for. Uh, and it also gives you a little builder inside if you're not a, a Photoshop person or don't have a graphics uh, editor and don't want to pay somebody to do it. This is a fantastic fantastic way to get posts out there you get them done quick um, and you can get them pushed to your page right away all right um, so now I said there was some some upsells now like I said this uh, what you saw here everything is is the front-end offer okay so that you're gonna get everything there um, now what you're gonna get here is the first one-time offer is the pro upgrade um, so you're gonna get more okay so you're gonna basically get more uh, Facebook ad uh, templates uh, thousand plus um, with with the pro up upgrade plus they update 500 uh, you know at minimum of 500 uh, ad copy headline and post um, uh, templates um, for various niches uh, niches excuse me me to uh, to their database every month okay so you're going to keep getting more and more um, uh, more ad uh, you know ad templates to choose from uh, you're also going to get access to their uh, their VIP uh, mastermind coaching group um, you'll get personal support on Facebook ad campaigns uh, and you can also request um, you know uh, top performing ad copy uh, templates for whatever niche niche you're in okay um, that's what it says right, right down here. Now the second um, offer is the Smart Ad Spy Tool. Okay, so what this is, and I I, did, I don't have access to it. I did not show it to you in, in here. Um, but what it is um, is essentially, you can basically once a Facebook ad is is expired. Okay, so a business uh, goes out there and 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 does a, a Facebook ad, uh, runs it for three weeks or whatever it is, uh, and they turn that that campaign off. But once it's off, you can never see it again. It's it's called a dark post. Okay, so it doesn't exist on Facebook anymore. You cannot see it. What this does is actually goes out and searches for those particular ads and brings them all back for you to basically see what was their best performing ads, um, you know, what was their copy, what was their uh, what were their images. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see, and you'll even be able to see like how many tests they've done with it. You'll see, you know, some of them that have the exact same copy uh, with uh, almost ex identical imagery, except maybe they changed the background color of the images. And you can see actually how, how they performed, what the likes were, what the comments were, what the shares were. Um, so you'll be able to kind of spy on that and get a good idea what was working for them uh, that you can pretty much just kind of copy uh, in, into your own ads okay now the third upsell is a developer license uh, which is exactly what, what it says um, you can basically create accounts for your clients uh, you know charge them if, if you want to run their Facebook campaigns um, you can certainly use this this uh, software to do so and get it done very very quickly um, which you know you can still charge the same amount amount of money and get it done in a quarter of the time okay so that's basically the funnel for a uh, smart ads builder now if you're watching this before September 4th, 2016, you will not be able to buy it. It does not launch until September 4th, 2016. Um, so mark it on your calendar. Come on back and visit. You can hit the link below in the description um, to head on over to the sales page uh, and pick up your copy uh, whenever you're ready to do so. Um, so that's about it for Smart Ads Builder. Uh, thanks for watching.